Alright, so last time I left you, I just started building the, the jetty, sorry, not the bridge. Um, now I've extended a bit further. Put some fencing along the side. The good thing about the fencing is you can't actually jump over it. Left gaps where the support beams are, so you can climb down the ladder. So yeah, that's pretty handy. Um, now I just wanted to show you a quick way of doing it better than what how I was going back and forth and back and forth and falling over. Basically, you build one log out like that, and then you just add them like that. And that way you've got a platform to stand on while you add onto the building, and you don't fall off. And you don't have to try and hold down the shift key, which can be quite awkward at times, especially if you're like me. Basically, just do that for now. In case you're wondering, I'll show you how to make more fences. And I'll do some more fences, show you how you do the fencing. It's not that difficult, but I'll show you anyway. And then from there, I'll extend the jetty some more. And then I'll get back to you again after I've done that. So basically, make a fence top row and that row, so just two rows full of sticks, make your fence, oops, and that's just my cousin, we'll ignore him for now, oops, just click on this and minimize it, so that Get rid of the taskbar, and then I'll fence along the other side. I'll show you how the fencing works. It's quite simple, as I said already. Do, 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 do. Basically, you come up here and put the fence tool there, and then you just continue to go like that. And to leave a gap, you just simply oops, I didn't want that there. Now I believe that that's where I want the cap, yep. So then you can see there, and just leave that like that. And you continue building your fence. Quite easy, as I said. <laughs> so then you just leave the cap a little bit further up. And then we'll have a fencing, that's okay. So yeah, that's how you do the fencing. And so what I'll do is I'll continue to build the jetty out a little bit further. Not entirely sure how big I want it, but I might have it um, go out in like an L shape. I've seen a few jetties like that before. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. Go out in an L shape. I mean, eventually I want to build like a big um, dockland, so like have ships and stuff over there, docking in the port. And so yeah, I'll build some more of the jetty and get back to you. Okay, so I've now completed the construction of the jetty, and I've done all the fencing. As I said, it was going to go in an L shape. It's not a huge jetty, but you know, try the little L bit here is a bit thinner. Hoping that you can cast fishing rods over fences. I think I've done it before, but I can't remember. So yeah, and done all the fencing. So basically, you've got. Bear with me one second, that's why I'm just talking again. So you've got the ladders going to all of them, so you can go up like in the real jetties for scuba divers. Um, so basically all I've left to do is the torches and decorating, put up a couple of signs, and I think I shall put in a nice little wooden bench and stuff. What well, jetty doesn't have a bench? So basically, to do the torches, you know, I like things to be nice and neat and tidy and symmetrical, so I'm put one there, probably put one there and one there, one there, one there. It's pretty cool, you never used to be able to put things on top of the fences, and I did it by accident. <laughs> Which is good, I was going to put like blocks on the side and see how that looked, but 
I'm quite happy to just do this. So basically, torches like that. Now it's good day to watch some more well being done before, but never mind. And here and here. So, whereas the bridge I've used the redstone torches, as you can see the nice little red glow, they're not as bright, but they've got a handy addition of being able to turn them on and off, but the jetty, I just want the jetty lit up all the time, and I want them quite bright. So basically, now to build my wooden bench, I reckon, go along here. Basically, wooden bench goes like this. Oh, no, it's definitely not. Basically, what you do depending on how far you want it. Oh no, I didn't realize I would do that. I forgot that they take up a whole tile themselves, a whole block, I should say. Obviously, the bench isn't that great looking but without using any of the mods like the fancy pack mod which is quite handy if you want to build proper furniture I'd recommend that otherwise if you're just going to be creative you can copy my build if you really want I wouldn't <laughs> but I basically copied it from other YouTube videos that I've seen that have been quite handy so basically back of the chair first like that so probably long enough for a bench won't it so there you go there's the bench maybe you have torches torch in there no you can't oh that sucks anyway so there's your little bench Cuties can sit down and have a rest, or old people. Looks pretty big and lumsome and clunky, but hey, still a bench. Now I've got some signs that I want to put up. Now, basically, before I do this, I like to have all my own paths as bottom planks. Constructed 19th of July in 2011. Oops, that guy. So now when you come up here, you'll see Mark and Jerry constructed 19th of July, blah blah blah. And then there's my jetty. So basically, now what I'm going to do build a pathway to the bridge and then we'll be finished and that is a jetty built and so what I'll do is I'll finish building the pathway and then do the final segment of the video and walk from the bridge over to the jetty okay so here we are at Harkon Bridge so we'll go across nice wooden thing I mean, the bridges that I've built in the past have had windows so you can see out the slides but I didn't want that so there we go to the jetty. So I had the jetty in mind a long time ago. So here's the outer path. Got rid of the uh, workbench and the chests. And then out the way. You don't actually have to follow the path, but I like to. Last game I started with gravel paths, but they were a bitch to deal with. So I switched to wooden. Gives you the wooden stairs, which is nice and easy. So here we have our finished. Jetty, half uh, jetty, constructed on the 19th of July 2011. So, there we go. Jetty out in the ocean, the little bench. And then we go out there. Beautiful. And so then you can climb up there. If you were an uncle like me, you can climb up there. So there we go, that's how we build the jetty.
So for my next project, I'm thinking maybe building a big stone courtyard around the jetty. Maybe putting up like a couple of stools, or shop things, a market sort of setup, which I think would be pretty cool. So yeah, stay tuned.